Hey, what's happening guys? Deck Pro here bringing you with the best decks for every challenge. And today we have the tower damage. And as you can see, I have plain and simple 3.3 spell bait. And this is the first time I've ever used an unoriginal deck for a challenge. But I feel like this is the best deck for the challenge. And that is what I do here on the channel. So this is the deck I will be showcasing to you guys. And Make sure again to subscribe because at 100 subscribers, I will have a face reveal and at 150 subscribers, I will do a mouse giveaway for the subscribers. And if there are only 150 subscribers, you don't have a bad chance at that mouse. So make sure to subscribe and let's get into it. So kind of a weird starting hand. I'm going to go. Ice Spirit Goblin Barrel. And you see the Ice Spirit slows down the tower from hitting the goblins. And that was the most amazing rocket ever. That... Wow, that was a very good rocket. I'm not going to bother using a log here. Won't get too much damage. Musketeer will take out the goblin. I'm gonna log that, actually. You see the star level elite barbarians, but elite barbarians aren't that great of a card, sadly. Okay, it's gonna slow them down again while hitting the goblins. I kind of missed the goblin barrel, but it doesn't look like it's gonna matter. I can't tell if he gave up. He's not doing anything. Else. No, he has not given up. Just not the greatest player. I'm gonna log that. Then put the knight in the middle so they all target the knight. That was actually a really good goblin barrel. Not gonna get the tower, but still gonna get some good damage. Good job to him. And the princess should be able to take the tower. We'll goblin gang that. Let's see if that will take tower. Yes. Oh, I swear, spear goblins do not do enough damage. And the elite barbarian actually goes... Does straight for the tower and the magic archer will use the inferno tower to hit the tower not one of my better plays he won't get another tower do not worry Now we're going to Goblin Gang, the Musketeer. That, this is a perfect time to strike. Just a complete waste of six elixir. He has nothing to do. That was maybe one of the worst lightnings I've ever seen. Just a complete waste of his elixir. It gives me time to do a ton of damage. And he elite barbarians the knight. A pretty good play. Let's see what he does about my goblin barrel. And he tries to goblin barrel my own goblin barrel. That's the game. For not being that good of a player, he put it. He put up a good fight. But you see, even with a couple of misplays, which, granted, I usually don't do that much misplays, but even with misplays. You can still win with this deck. It's a very good deck. Especially for this challenge. I'm going to start for the princess. So the whole point of Spellbait is you use it like its name. You bait them to use spells on the less important cards like Goblin Gang or Princess. And then you use your Goblin Barrel to hit the tower. The main offense on this deck is your Goblin Barrel. You use your Goblin Barrel to get damage to the tower, 
while they waste their spells on your goblin gang and the princess. Got a little focus there. So we're going to go with another princess, have him waste his spells, if he has any. I haven't seen a spell yet. Or I might not be paying attention. So I'm going to go knight here. And that is a very good rocket. Okay, we're going to save up on elixir here. And this guy is using a more of a bridge spam deck, even though this is the tower damage challenge. And you see I put the goblin gang right up in the middle of it. So I'm going to bait the firecracker. And there we have our king tower. And let's use our more expendable princess. You know, I'm just going to send off a golem barrel. He doesn't have many spells. If he has any. And this guy is just getting absolutely destroyed. Has really no idea what he's doing. I'm going to rocket the witch, actually. And the knight will target the royal giant. Royal ghost. <laughs> that was strange. I'm gonna log that. Mainly just to get damage, so. I'm pretty sure the rocket does 370. Yes. So. There we have tower. And hardly any damage taken. And personally, you can add arrows instead of log if you want. Sometimes I feel like spell bait needs an air spell, considering princess is really your only minion horde defense. But a really good deck overall. You can. I'll actually try putting the arrows in this game just to show you, but you can really go either way. It's just, it's really up to you. But here we go, our eighth win. And also, check out the other videos on my channel. I have stuff like how to use a goblin gang on a baby dragon. And just, I have the best decks for every challenge, so tune in before the challenge to find the deck. And sorry I was a little bit late on this video, but I will not be for the next challenge. So I'm going to put Inferno Tower, actually. And then I will bait the knight by this. Oh, too late. Oh. Still only take two hits. I'm gonna wait and then put a knight. I feel like this is a graveyard. Yep, there we go. And we countered it pretty well. We need to save our goblin gang for that. We're still in the lead. Let's see what he does about this goblin barrel. I think he's just going to let it be. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, I'm going to put a knight and then another princess. I don't feel like wasting my inferno tower on this. And I'm just going to wait. Come on, yes. We saved the princess there with the goblin gang. We're trying to save this princess as much as possible. And now we have two princesses alive. This is strange. Okay, I'm actually going to arrow this, and then I'll have my goblin gang ready for the graveyard. 
Not much damage taken. I mean, still some damage taken. The graveyard is kind of a hard thing to have no damage taken. But you can do good. Okay, that's tower. The Goblin Gang should do good against the Graveyard. I take hardly any hits. I don't think we'll be able to get the tower. I'm gonna send off a rocket. And that is our ninth win. He does not have the Graveyard in time, sadly. And there we go, our ninth win. And you see, with only one loss in the challenge, so... A lot of the times I have no losses. This time I had one loss to a minion horde and minion guy. That was kind of difficult with only a princess to defend that. So that was my one loss. But I will have a link of the deck in the description. Well, you can find this deck pretty much anywhere. You don't really need my link. But remember, guys, please subscribe if you want to see my face reveal at 100 subscribers. And thank you very much for watching till the end.